AMJ, the uh, Coach's Corner, brought to you by Aspirus Keweenaw. Heartbreaker tonight, the Huskies fall to Michigan by a score of 4-3. to three. And the last-minute um, goal scored by the Wolverines to make the difference in the game here tonight. Coach, I know a couple of bounces didn't go our way, but it certainly looked like our best 60 minutes of the season. Do you agree with that tonight? Well, I don't, Dirk. No? Uh, I mean, I thought there were some good things going on in the game, but, uh, you know, just, just you can't give up four goals on the road and expect to win. And... You know, obviously their, their second goal is a little bit of a backbreaker for us. But, you know, we came back and got one shorthanded to, to make it a game, and then we got a couple of bounces of our own. But we've got to learn, you know, the last minute of the game, what the situation is and what's going on. And, you know, we have control of the puck. That That's a, just an unforced error by Devin and our defensemen don't read. And, you know, they got a guy wide open the slot. We come back late to the slot. And I, I saw a lot of that in the third period. We just were lazy getting back to the puck, uh, coming back. We just didn't sense that danger or the turnovers and and that's what happens and we've got to learn like uh, we've got to learn from that if we want to get better and, and beat good teams like Michigan you know in their own building it seemed like uh, puck control throughout the game we had maybe the most that we've had all season long especially the uh, great puck movement on the power play tonight even well we, we did yeah we did even though we didn't get anything out of it I, I thought that helped create some tempo in the game at different times and you know we out attempted them 80 to 57 and you know, we had some great opportunities. I thought their goalie made some outstanding saves tonight. And, uh, you know, he, he was the difference. It could have been, you know, I know he had a couple miscues there, but it, it could have been six or seven. And I thought he was the number one, number one star of the game. So, um, you know, we've got to bounce back tomorrow. We've got to find a way to salvage the weekend. And uh, we just need more players playing the team game. I still think we've got too many guys trying to do too much and then, you know, as they don't have success individually, they veer away from that game a little bit and until we can get everybody on the same page, we're just going to be close. We're just going to be, you know, almost and, and that's not good enough. Well, the, you got you had some great chances towards the end there. Boy, Tyler Hannon and Reed Sturros, Brent right. Baltus got uh, Stymied a couple of times. And the tonight. two on one. Alex Ealers made a good play, and I thought Alex, Alex Ealers had a good game tonight. So and we had, we had a lot of good performances from different guys, but you need everybody, you know. And it's going to come down to that one play that, you know, we're going to go back to the hotel and, and feel pretty bad about that. I, I'm not satisfied with just being okay. I'm not satisfied. There's no no more moral victories anymore. We, we've got to find a way to win hockey games, and we need everybody jumping on that that wagon. We just can't have, you know. 75 percent we need everybody and we're not there yet and we've got to get there okay coach well it was a fun game to watch i know it was not the outcome we were looking for but i mean yeah i mean to come yeah. back for two goals in that game and, and really put the pressure i thought we did on them well there's some good the things i thought the second period we were really good mm -hmm. i mean you could just see for long stretches of time we had them run around in their own zone and like i said their goalie made some when you, when you watch your game back he, he made some key saves at critical times or the puck just hit him or, or you know he Whatever, but they found a way to win the game, and, and we've got to be ready tomorrow. We've got to bounce back now and, and, and salvage uh, the weekend. And, um, you know, my message to the team, obviously, is we need everybody, and everybody's got to play the right way. But, and we have, to, we have to understand the game. Like, when you watch that winning goal, or two defensemen go to the corners, third guy doesn't come back, and, you know, they've got a guy wide open in the slot. I mean, it's a, it's a bad turnover by Devin again, and, and you know, and... He had a good game, but, you know, soft second goal, and that's a, that's a bad goal. I mean, that, that really hurts us. So we've got to be better and sharper, and, and we've got to learn from that to get better. All right, Coach, good luck tomorrow night. Yep. Should be another great game. Well, it will be. I mean, we'll, we'll be ready to play. But you can see their speed and quickness, and, and if you give them opportunities, they're going to put it away on you. They're, they're too good. They're too skilled. So we've got to limit the opportunities. I thought we did a good job through two periods, and then – like I said, we got a little away from the third period. But we'll be ready tomorrow. We'll regroup, and, and we'll see what we're made of tomorrow. All right, thanks, Coach. That's yep. the Coach's thanks. Corner brought to you by Aspirus Keweenaw. 4-3 Michigan over Michigan Tech. Back with more of our postgame right after this.